number one thing I just noticed that was kind of funny I saw the timeline um well most of the reaction you know the result is just whatever it is I don't really care too tough but there's this hoopla going on at the moment it's been going on for a while with this uh trans athlete called Laurel Hubbard right and obviously she's the first kind of I'm assuming openly trans athlete in in general especially at the Olympics level maybe just in weightlifting specifically I'm not too sure but there's a lot of commotion around you know Laura Hubbard kind of obviously qualifying for the Olympics and getting to represent her country which I'm assuming is New Zealand judging by the uniform that she's wearing and um personally I didn't really see the the hoop the, the the kind of kerfuffle I don't really understand most of the kerfuffle um I think it's kind of a solution for it's the best solution, is it? Yeah, it's the kind of best solution for the kind of a scenario that not a lot of people kind of maybe specked out, right? Um, who, who was to know we'd come to a point in human history where we'd have, you know, um, trans athletes competing at the highest levels, right? And it's no surprise that some of these, you know, really draconian and old school um, sporting organizations, Olympic committees are finding it very difficult to adjust to these new times because us as kind of regular civilians are also finding it difficult to adjust in terms of pronouns and how to view people and whatnot and whether or not we understand what's going on. Everyone's finding it difficult at the moment, but in general the kind of common sense approach to this would be for in most sports especially if there were a lot of trans people who were playing such sports there should just be a separate trans division because there's too much that goes into the whole taking of blockers and all this sort of stuff that is going to neg or it's going to positively affect some athletes and maybe negatively affect the ability for other athletes to compete and obviously athletes at that level at the really top level any sort of you know medical you know procedure whatever it may be any sort of supplements you may take whatever is going to give you some inches or some percentages of an advantage that might allow you to kind of you know stay clear of the competition gain that gold gain that first place you know it's all it's a kind of sport of fine margins so it does make sense why you know if you're a man or if you're a woman and you saw someone coming in trans who um was maybe um presenting or would want to be regarded or kind of you know want to use the pronouns relating to your gender that you would feel a bit of a way because yeah it's hard to compete in athletics as it is then you have this whole different conundrum coming around it's going to be something you're going to get your panties and twist about it makes complete sense but it does feel like this is the probably the best solution so far because i'd imagine at the top level in olympics there's probably not a lot of people that can qualify for an olympic sport in the first place so to then make a separate trans division just seemed like a waste of time and he probably wouldn't have enough competitors to make it viable so the only logical solution is maybe to place laurel hubbard in the women's division and you know cross your fingers and hope everything goes okay obviously for laurel hubbard it didn't go okay as the headline says here on bbc sport took olympics laurel hubbard out of weightlifting after failing to register a successful lift and most people on my timeline were kind of you know hooping and hollering some people obviously were you know sending out condolences depending on what side the political aisle you kind of fell down on but again i didn't necessarily see anything wrong with it i do think in general if someone wants to compete and they're able to compete um they should get a chance to compete at that level whether or not you agree with it politically or not if there are rules that allow people to compete to represent as trans then let them compete i don't see the nonsense of getting politics and all that sort of stuff involved when it has to do with sports the last thing i want to see when it comes to sports especially people representing countries at the elite level is politics i just want to see people well people would argue that olympics by nature is a political thing but i still want to see the best athletes from the best or the, the best athletes every nation has to offer competing on the olympic stage that's what you actually want to see whether or not that's what happens behind the scenes is by the by but the article says the following she became the first openly transgender athlete to compete at the games in a different gender cat category um to the one in which they were born after a failed attempt to lift the 120 kg two failed efforts to snatch um her competition ended team gb M emil campbell won silver with gold going to china's lee wayne campbell became the first britain to woman to win olympic lifting the medal and china's lee chan uh, an olympic record of 320 kg wow to take the title with america's sarah robles claiming the bronze at 282 hubbard said i knew that from the sporting perspective i haven't really hit the standards but i put upon myself and 
and perhaps a standard that my country has experienced expected from me. But one of the things for which I'm profoundly grateful for is the supporters in New Zealand who have given me so much and beyond astonishment. I'd like to thank the New Zealand Olympic Committee. They have supported me through what has quite been a difficult time. I know my participation in the Games has not been entirely without controversy, but they have been the ones just so wonderful and grateful to it. And I think maybe because everyone's really cynical, but could there be a solution or could there be a scenario where Laurel just wanted is one of the rare people in the world who wants to compete in weightlifting and who happen to be trans. Couldn't that just be a thing? Because I think some people have this cynical mindset or where they kind of are looking for the worst possible explanation for this, whereas it's like, you know, oh, she wanted to cheat. So she decided to compete at Olympic weight. It's decided to b become trans, uh, present as female in order to compete at Olympus because she couldn't do it when you know she was a man like i don't necessarily think that's true i think it just might be one of the rare occasions where there's an athlete who decides to be trans and this is what they want to do and i don't necessarily think there's anything wrong with it especially if the rules permitted to be so but i do quite like the response from the other athletes when they were quizzed on it at the press conference because unfortunately in the world we live in at the moment there is no space for nuanced conversations right we don't even have really nuanced adult conversations around sex and relationships right so imagine trying to get into all this other stuff it's just it's a minefield and if there's one thing that is really true that i've kind of been laughing at a lot of the times there's been um tim dylan's interpretation of olympic athletes where he basically said they're basically dumb right and their only purpose on this planet is to basically be amazing at their sport which is obviously being facetious and trying to be funny and edgy but for the most part if you strip it away he is kind of true right you don't really want your athletes talking about politics and world matters well i know i don't i want to hear them kind of break down and explain why they're so great at what they do why they decide to do this technique instead of that technique that's where you actually want them to explain and to maybe divulge some insights into what they do because that's what they're elite at all this other stuff shouldn't be stuff that you should worry about and i wish we lived in a world where people could be comfortable in saying that you know what this is something that i'm not really that kind of um clued up on i'm not really that familiar with the topic i don't really have any learnings about it any real insights i can provide um i'm just gonna abstain from making a comment and that's what one of the athletes here said when they were quizzed regarding laurel hubbard's kind of you know no show or no completion at the olympic games so i'll play this clip for you and then um you'll get what i mean it's kevin farley from the international weightlifting federation this is for emily uh you went to the united states earlier this year and you trained side by side with sarah in utah what was that experience like uh, then and now when you are competing on the same Olympic stage? Um, yeah, it was fantastic. Um, I was really honored to be invited out to the States to train with the guys and especially Sarah, you know, we, we get on really well. Um, we're very like-minded people um, and it was just really, you know, inspiring to push each other and um, to get each other ready for these Olympics. And, you know, I'm absolutely thrilled that I managed to share a podium with her because she's, uh, she's a real sweetheart. There was a historic night here. Uh, with Laurel Hubbard competing as the first openly transgender in a uh, in a uh, individual event, and I was wondering, you know, what you felt about that, and what you felt that, that it took place in in your sport. No, thank you. <laughs> I love it. It's such a. It's such a. It's it's the perfect answer. No, thank you is the perfect answer because you know for sure especially with journalists they're not setting you up because they want to hear what you have to say so you can share your opinion and you could become an ally no they're setting you up in a way so they can quiz you and basically it's coming with the wrong intentions they're definitely setting you up in a way so that you can fumble say something idiotic misspeak um maybe present the wrong fact whatever it may be have the have the wrong thing to say that they don't agree with and then use it to kind of assassinate your character especially you know at a moment where you're still kind of glowing from you know the resolution that you kind of won a medal at the olympic games for your country and you're thinking about going home and having a pizza wherever you are you're in a completely different mindset this is when they want to present those kind of questions to you so big up her for answering that question in that way and i wish more people would do that just be like you know what i don't really have the information no thank you i'd rather just you know move on it makes me really think twice about why some of these kind of LA-based comedians are so obsessed with what comes to trans issue in sports or trans issues in general. They seem to be obsessed about talking to them. Mostly kind of, you know, my idol, Joe Riggins, one of the main ones. He seems to be obsessed with talking about women's um, trans toilets and all this stuff. It's just a weird thing. And I guess it might be a, a Pacific American thing in general. Maybe they're just a little bit, 
you know they've got one of those kind of weird trigger points every sort of country and area in the world has them right where they just can't really see the wood for the trees and that might be it for when it comes to americans but they just seem to be so bothered by the trans issue more so than they probably should do especially if it doesn't really affect their everyday life and even if it did so what you know what i mean it's just such a weird way to play but hey big up her for answering that way a great way to kind of answer it and again um big up laura hubbard for you know at least attempting um at least you know putting your name out there put putting your hat in the ring trying to compete at that highest level obviously it didn't succeed um it's not something to glow about and anything because again you know olympic athletes are still you know the one percent of the one percent she tried she failed it is what it is maybe dust off off and try again another time but at least you can say you always competed or at, well at least you say you, you were there she didn't compete because she didn't complete a lift but still you technically did compete but i don't know whatever you know what i mean congrats to her regardless hopefully she makes another charge in the future